Hey guys, so happy well, Wednesday and it will be Thursday in six more minutes in case you're curious. So there we go, happy Thursday, Wednesday and Thursday. Right, so this is the part two of building up Longfellow's cabin. Now I'm really curious to see what you people think of this one. The reason being is... So you, those of um who watched my video where I kind of went into detail, well not detail, but I, I went overview of what the settlements were in Far Harbour and I talked about how with Longfellow's Cabin it, it kind of almost bothered me a little bit the name. <laughs> it's Longfellow's Cabin, it's not like Longfellow's Island or even you know a different name that kind of signifies a settlement, it's actually his own cabin. Um, by the way, what I'm fucking up here is I don't realise it's too close to the thing I just placed. Yeah, I'm going to pick some big an absolute knob. Um, so with that in mind, I kind of wanted it to still feel like it was Longfellow's cabin. As in, like, it's still his cabin, but there are... There's a small settlement around it, if that makes sense. So it still feels like it's his cabin, rather than necessarily, you know, like, mini Spectacle Island, effectively. So that might, I'm using lots of what I'm doing kind of right now, which is basically making good use of open space. Don't worry, I still build some funky shit, which I think you'll quite like. The tower especially, I'm very chuffed by. Um, incidentally as well, with this video, um, a lot of the stuff I've placed down will be subtly moved when I decorate it. Because <laughs> I realise, especially the tower, is just in a completely shit location. Um, but I, d I didn't, I I'll mention it again when the points are like, I'm going to move that. But yeah, like, the, the whole idea of this one is, is basically, like, I haven't really built, I'm probably, the decorated tour for this will be on the weekend, because I know this is going to take me ages to do, because a lot of what really is going to make this feel complete is actually the decoration rather than what I've placed, though I'm quite pleased with what i placed. You, you'll see what I mean, um, how oh, I'm trying to make good use of open space, because I want it to kind of feel open and, and, yeah, it, it's hard to kind of... Uh, it's better just to show you. So we'll get to it and I'll show you what I mean. Um, but I'm quite pleased with what the tower is going to look up. It's going to have lots of decoration, which is why I'm moving the tour until Saturday. Um, I might add one or two extra buildings. Because there's a c couple of things I feel are missing. Especially on the cabins. I, I don't really build an extra cabin. Um, which I do want at least one. Um, but I do build a tower behind it. I just want an extra kind of maybe do a little bit more building in the where his actual cabin is. Um, and if I think of anything particularly cool, what I'll do is I'll make a separate video and, and kind of, because I think I'm, for example, I'm thinking of actually putting the tower in its own video and doing some other things alongside it because the tower is fucking cool. Love this tower. It's best tower. Is best tower. 10 out of 10. Hashtag awesome tower great is stuff. So I'm using lots like this, like I, I've mentioned this, showed this technique before, where you're basically just kind of sinking um, boards into the ground to basically add a lot more texture to the earth. It kind of breaks things up. It makes it look like this area has actually been... Thought has been put into it. Also, I love Misha, the little wolf. Misha lives here now. For those of you don't know, you, you can get you can buy those walls from a guy in Far Harbour, but you'll have to Google that because I can't be asked to look for it or remember his name. So, yeah, like, I'm trying to think of, this is why I think it's a weird video, because I'd have to, like, as I said, the tower's awesome, and I'm really pleased to just kind of, the idea of demonstrating open texture, but, because I don't build, I don't think I build a single actual, like, in the last video, I built, you know, like, the pier and the, the buildings, with this one, it's more about placing a couple of these bunkers around, building the tower, which looks fucking awesome, building a nice little, what's going to be a seating, maybe, harvesting area, it, it's, it's weird, it's an, an interesting one, I was building, it's like, I'm really pleased with what this is looking out, but I wonder what they're going to think about it, but it's alright, think of it like the way of, um, here's me just justifying myself, <laughs> you guys are mean sometimes, um, you're not, you're actually really nice. Um, but in the so cut um, the cottage where I basically just adding in, like, it looks completely different. When you see the build video and then it compares to the tour, it's just completely transformed. That's kind of what I'm doing here. Absolutely love doing this now. Sinking these bunkers in. It's very, very cool. It just kind of adds a nice little texture and they look cool. It, kind of following on from that vibe where I want it to look like, you know, old Yong Longfellow has kind of settled here and there were some pre-existing things like those bunkers and a lot of the pier. Now, this is my funky tower, which is not going to be here. I'm going to move the entire thing over later, but I didn't want to do it in this video because I think, fuck it, it looks nice, but I'll just shift the whole thing. I should actually be able to just glitch it and pick the whole thing up. So, right, this is cool. 
So I decided I wanted to make a kind of kind of variation on ye olde Davy Tower that I made once upon a time back in the day using junk fences. So what I've done now is I placed um, the foundation on, and but I wanted to put these shack railings around the bottom, but they don't clip in, and it's very difficult for you to actually clip the foundation around them. It just doesn't really fit. So what I've done is I placed them around this board here like this, and because I'm a total super genius. I've then taken the board off. I'm not a total super genius. I'm just you know got way too much time on my hand and don't go out enough. Um, pillared this around. I. I Incidentally, the reason why I've moved it over here is because I put it on a board and I couldn't then lower it down. Got it there like this, so I can raise up and down, and I'm literally just glitching it in there. Because the thing is, it adds a little bit more texture, the kind of the joining between the actual foundation and the, the concrete foundation, but also because the legs of that foundation tend to, like the wooden one, tend to look like they're floating a little bit. So it has a little bit of texture, it's very, very cool. Now I do, this is actually like, um, how I've done this one is kind of completely by eye. Uh, this is kind of made up as I've gone along, but I had a kind of vague idea of what I wanted to do. But I do edit it, and the way I edit it, I'm really pleased while I'm pleased how I've done it. And this is definitely something I want to develop upon, because it just looks fucking cool. So initially, I was going to do it kind of like this, where it's just going to be kind of like, these are view areas, then I just kind of had a little idea. So I put the posts on first, like this. Those posts that apparently loads of people hate. I love them. They're useful. Oh, actually, while well, I'm just doing this little quick boring part here, some people have mentioned this before, that, oh, David, you know, using the barn pieces too much. I can't remember if I mentioned this in the cottage video, but I'm going to mention it anyway, because I was meant to mention it in there if I hadn't already. Uh, the whole premise of this channel is that it is a guide channel, um, and I'm deliberately going to use the new stuff so you can find new or interest base. You know, you know so I deliberately use it to try and force myself to kind of... Some of the ideas might not even look very good, and I may never use them again. But I at least want to kind of give you guys funky ways of doing things, like this. So I put the floor roof on because uh, the floor in because it snaps to the pillars, and then I'm going to put this on the top. The reason why it just kind of adds a little bit more texture to the bottom of it. It just makes it easy to connect as well. Right now, this is where I start having a little bit of an epiphany. So I realised that while I was doing that, the other stuff I was like, right, okay, I want guard posts um, along three sides, right? And I thought, okay, maybe I can kind of snap them like that, but I can't sink them in. So I try and take the pillars off, and I notice, can I put the guard post on and then put the pillars back in? Posts, rather. They're not pillars, David. They're posts, honestly. And I can. That looks pretty cool. So I do that on the whole thing like this. Now, I do, when I redo it, because what I end up doing, basically, is, um, yeah, actually, I'll show you. No, wait, wait, wait for the surprise, basically. So putting the pillars on. It's all pillory. The good thing is about the positioning of the pillars is they snap in. But that will not block um, your guard from actually standing on the post. The good thing as well is this enables... I'm going to have only one guard and he's going to basically just walk between. So it's the idea he's just looking over the different towers. So at the moment, that looks really good, right? But you've got that ugly floors underneath that I needed to put on there. So I take them off, but it's floating. And then Davy has an epiphany. So basically, I took, took, took all of the floors off. Um, but before I did that, I actually moved the guard post further back in, so the see where the lip is, is actually touching the board, um, the actual platform at the top. So it just looks very, very funky. Um, I'm quite pleased with it, but you see the positioning of this tower is what I meant by the fact that I'm going to move it, because it just looks a little bit silly where it is right now. Um, I think I'm going to move it to behind, I don't know actually, but it's going to be moved, yeah? But I just think, right, I'll finish making it, and then we can just kind of just pick the whole thing up. Take, get rid of the stairs, but pick the whole thing up and just kind of move it somewhere else when I'm doing my decorations. So this will be in a different place. But I'm really pleased by this one. I think it just, it adds a lot more texture. I'm going to put a nice little lantern at the top as well. And it's going to look a little bit funky, but you can see it looks a bit shit. It's, the stairs look a bit silly, but look at that. Yeah. Right, so now I've done that. Um, I want to just add a little bit more texture to something really quick, just to add to the side of this gar um, this trailer. Again, with this one, this is why I'm interested to see. Some of you might get some, hopefully get some really good ideas of this in terms of making detail where there isn't detail. That's that's kind of I did it a lot in um, Green Top, in the idea being of just adding detail where there wasn't detail before and that's kind of what I'm trying to do with this one quite a bit. Um, I deliberately tried to make myself make a few more funky things as well which I'm always trying to do 
with this. But I think with this one, it's a little bit more subtle. Um, and the whole... This settlement's really going to transform when it's decorated. Um, I won't do another building video on this. This is the last one of this settlement. There will be a tour, as I said, on Saturday. Um, or Sunday, whichever. I... Either or, right? Because um, the last decoration for the cottage took fucking six hours. <laughs> Because I, I spend ages thinking about things and what I want to look like. So it'll be on the weekend at some point. But you'll get two videos on the weekend. So it'll either be the first or the second one. And you're getting a video tomorrow as well. So it's grand. Um, but yeah, this, it, it's just all about like... What really transforms it is I'm going to do... Yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm doing it right now. I'm doing it right now. Yeah. Okay. So basically, um, inspired by how I did... I end up redoing this. Whee! Three times? Three times? Three times. Um, inspired by the little corral. Um, that is the exact word what it is, by the way. Um, behind the back of a Dalton farm. I really liked this technique of using these posts to kind of make a kind of entrance way. Um, now, the way I do it here is absolutely moronic. So don't do it the way I'm going to do it here. But don't worry, I do show you how to do it in a way that's really cool. Now, I'm not going to put fences around this. This is going to be an unfenced settlement similar to Dalton Farm. But I kind of... I might put, like, a couple of wire fences spaced out to kind of give the illusion of a boundary. But it's not going to actually have walls. I want it to kind of feel like a hamlet or something like that. Right, now, okay, what do I do here, right? Firstly, that is way too high. Low, rather. Um, and then I end up trying to glitch one of these in. So I'll see in a second. What you can actually do, basically, spoilers, um, is you can actually stack these long, those ones, on top of each other. So you want to do that. So stack them and then just glitch the whole thing in. It doesn't lower... As we like with the p concrete post, I can't do, and I'll show you when I do it. I can't lower it as far into the ground, but I don't know why I was doing this. <laughs> Even worse, I actually used the wrong side. <laughs> oh, Davy, you complete mess! I can't believe you've done this. Um, disappointing. So that looks awful. Just the record, right? So let's just um. I left it in. I left it in so you can see. And uh, this is me just trying to save myself. Oh, the disappointment. It's alright. It's all about the learning, isn't it? It's all about the funsies. It's all about the super fun, happy learning times of shame and embarrassment. But I, I, I really I really like this. And I think the tour's going to really like... This is me trying to justify myself. I'm pleased with this settlement and you'll be pleased with it still. So, see what I've done here? is I basically put them on, and then I can sink this down a little bit. It looks all very grand, all very sexy. And I just basically glitched in. I do do another one, and you'll see. Um, instantly, you see, that one is not straight. So much like the tower, I'm going to... It was really hard for me to gauge where it was, but I just couldn't be asked to then put it back again. So when I do the decoration, I'm going to straighten all that shit up on the weekend when I don't have work in the morning. So this is me just pondering an idea, which I eventually scrap because these things are way too big. I was basically thinking of actually, like, having these as kind of, like, fences. And I might try that technique at some point, but just it looked a little bit bollocks. So, the next one... Yeah, okay, so basically, because there are two entrances. So, the port is my kind of made-up entrance, in the sense that no one actually comes from that side of the settlement at all. But I wanted the idea that we have our own port. This is where, actually your your provision will come from because this is where the path leading to Far Harbour proper is. Um, now again, because I'm an absolute knob jockey, forgot to put the tall thing in, also had a radiation storm, but fuck off, am I going to stop recording and then just... It's very atmospheric, isn't it? Look, at, look how atmospheric that is, look how lovely. So I'm popping that like that. It's pretty high, but then I make a little couple of posts. Again, it's all about the... So the, you can only see what I'm trying to do already. Like, I'm trying to... It's like... Giving the illusion of a boundary when there isn't actually a boundary there. That, that's what I'm kind of trying to do in this one. And I think the decoration, I'm going to do it a little bit more. Um, I do these little posty things, because I quite like them. Oh, incidentally, when you're trying to put a platform on a post, your posts actually have a direction. So there is a front, left, right and back, all that jazz. So if they're not snapping on, you just keep rotating the post. And then you can, like, actually snap them on like I did that. A load of you really hate those things that I just made. Because I put them in, um, 
the watch me call it uh, in the cottage. And I was like, oh, no, I don't like them. I don't like them. I'm going to make you like them, all right? I'm going to decorate those things, yeah? And you're going to love them. You're going to love them long time because I've bloody decided that I like them and I want an excuse to use them. <laughs> they make a nice little frame. Um, I'm going to keep repeating myself with this one, but this one's all about the decoration. It's all about creating boundaries where there aren't boundaries, but decoration as well. You'll see. Trust in Davy, yeah? Please trust in Davy. For the love of God. Let's make the posts. I like these. I like more details. I'm deliberately not allowing myself to decorate in these videos at all. Um, because I want to kind of... I want it to be surprised. Also, I was really annoyed. I was hoping I could actually put these in. Like, underneath to make it like a kind of a double thick one. I... I Customary, I did it to record me doing this for quite a while. Ah, oh, well, it's all good. But I thought it looked really cool because I could put a big sign on there. Also, I am actually going to have a sign above that, but it's going to look grand. Um, also, because I've done steps a million times, I am actually going to add lots of detail to these steps as well. But again, because I've shown, you know, it's, it's just me pillar glitching stairs in. I just thought, right, I'm not going to show that shit because it's just me repeating myself and I'm trying to cut out at least some of the repetitive shit. Which is why, for example, I'm going to add a couple of fences around this settlement, but I'm just not going to do it in this um, uh, in this video. And by fences, again, I mean not the big junk fences, I mean the little ones. That's it. Illusions of boundaries. You'll like it. You'll approve, I think. I hope. Right, those are my temp stairs. So you're starting to see it now. Now, this is it so far. Don't worry, this isn't finished yet. There's not really much out. There's one more thing I'm going to add. And I said, I'm going to add, I'm going to move that tower and I'm going to add at least one or two more buildings. But there might be filler buildings, which is why I didn't want to put them in yet. And plus, I am going to maybe try and make an interesting design. So this is my little tent area where we're actually going to be, where Old Longfellow will actually be prepping and kind of, like, it's going to be like a kind of a harvest area, basically. Incidentally, anything that sinks, you can't use the pillar properly. The, first, the only reason I did this is because... Like, you can't sink it, but what you can do is you can glitch into things, which is the purpose of this, see? So it's still... I can't lower it down. But what I can do is, yeah, connect the two front posts together. Annoyingly, the back one isn't straight, but it doesn't matter. It still ends up looking pretty cool. So I'm quite pleased. This is actually my little favourite area. Alongside the tower, this is my only little... One of my little fave areas in this one. Because it just worked. It just worked. As the one true Todd would say... It's basically ended up snapping these in. And the whole idea of this is meant to be kind of like... It, it, it is the prep area. It's going to be where he basically, you know, guts all his animals and just... You know, they, they, this is this is, this is is a hunter's lodge, basically. This whole area. Um, it's going to be basically for old Longfellow and his closest peeps. And so I wanted a, an area where it's kind of in the open where they can actually just kind of gut fish, skin animals, and just generally make a, a big shit metric fuck ton of mess. Now, using the same technique I'd done before, but just lengthways, because the thing is, I didn't want to have a foundation there, but as you saw, that platform was actually floating. So what I do is I pop those off like that. I'm also very low on wood as well, which is why I decided to enter there. I'm like, right, I can't think of what else to build until the decoration. What am I doing right now? Oh yeah, I was going to see if I could put some posts under. I can't. I like these posts for like supports but they're not very nice for actually getting low it, it's it's just i guess the mechanics of the game it doesn't really work so this is a useful technique see because i didn't want to have a foundation there post didn't work but i wanted this to look like it was more of a solid structure so what i end up doing is glitching one of these in it worked really well i'm, I'm quite chuffed with how this worked careful careful I was really annoyed that I thought, well, I potentially annoyed that I thought those posts were actually going to get in the way of my, um, like, I, I've done it before where I've actually picked something up and had to go all the way back because I just happened to put, select the one position where there was a fucking tree in the way. Then my railings as well. So I'm trying to, like, this is, you're going to fucking love this one. I promise you guys, you will go, wow, Davey, this is fucking cool. However, I'm very conscious some of you might not like it right now because it's all open and I haven't built anything big other than the tower. But use your minds. Think of the open space. Open space can look as cool as massively built stuff. Right, so. Here's the tour. Again, not decorated. It's all about just focus on the open space and what the end vision is going to be. 
works. It's going to be fucking grand. I'm pleased with this, and it's going to look cool. I'm also going to build a special robot for this place as well, because I was meant to do that in all of my settlements, but I always forget to do it. Right. Um, the tour of this will be on the weekend. Saturday or Sunday, it depends which time I have. It's going to look fucking cool. You're going to love it. I'm going to do another video tomorrow. I'm just going to doodle something funky at work, and I've got a couple of ideas, and I want to beef it up. So you'll like it. Good video tomorrow. Right. As always, follow me on Twitter, at no respawns. If you want to tweet me shit, again, I'm still looking for more Longfellow's Cabin videos. Sent a couple cool ones already, which is pretty grand. Please send me Twitter videos or Twitter pics. Please don't send me YouTube videos, because I can't watch them in the office, which is when I do most of my social media now. Woohoo. Don't tell my boss. Um... I will talk to you lovely people tomorrow and enjoy the rest of your whatever time of day you're watching this. Take care.